Hi everyone, welcome back to our video series on building an ERP app or Enterprise Resource Planning application on Bubble. Now in this video, we are going to be showcasing an excellent example of an ERP system that was actually built by one of our previous clients and we're super proud of the work that they've done, uh, we're going to be looking at Wash Dry Fold POS. Now, they're actually a point of sale and ERP system, but we're going to be looking at just the ERP side of things. So anything that contributes to the back end operations of the business, order tracking, uh, employee management, creating reports, managing inventory and pricing. It's, it's great because they really touch on a little bit of everything that we've looked at in the last few videos in this series. So we're going to be able to see how they approach things. And they are really smart. It. They, in the last year that they've onboarded uh, about 200 laundromats, they've uh, processed nearly 400,000 uh, transactions and have tracked about 5.5 million pounds of laundry in drop-off orders. They're really doing a fantastic job over there. So we're going to take a look at their application here in a second. Now, if you are new around here, my name is Gabby and I am the co-founder of Coaching No Code Apps, where we help non-technical entrepreneurs build custom applications for business and also help folks with uh, existing businesses grow and scale all without code. All right, let's dive in. All right, so here is Wash Dry Fold POS. Like I said, they are a point of sale system as well. So they've got a whole register uh, part of their application. We're not going to be diving into that. Really what we're going to be looking looking at is all of the internal uh, functionality that this application has uh, as a part of it. So one of the biggest pieces is really their order tracker. So within a laundromat, uh, you know, customers will drop off their orders and uh, the location can track every step of the way that the order is moving through. So they've got a little drag and drop functionality here so that it's very easy for the employee to move an order from one lane to another. And this is all done, you know, on a touchscreen tablet inside of the location. So you can see they've got uh, some integrations with some physical equipment. That's awesome. And I just wanted to get to this part here of their landing page. So you can see that this really is a suite of tools. This is something that you'll find very typical with ERP systems is um, the, the combination of functionality of tools that employees, um, any admins within the location or a business need in order for the business to run from start to finish. So they have a CRM system to manage all of their customers. Um, even at the commercial billing level, they have a whole system for managing their inventory, all of the pricing, the discounts, all of the um, financials that go into the transactions. Of course, they can run reports. Uh, as far as managing employees, they can have different user roles. They'll keep track of uh, their clock in time, clock in, clock out. So there's a lot of back end operations all rolled up into one system here um, for the laundromats to run their business. All right, so we're going to step into some of these demo videos that they've got here for the uh, application so that we can take a sneak peek at a bunch of the different screens that an employee can interact with when they're managing orders, working with orders, uh, or just interacting with anything related to the back end side of the business. So this is a really important screen here. This is the order management. Uh, this, you know, touches on record management that we talked about in previous videos of this series. Uh, this is a, a tabbed design for looking at all the details for an order, right? You don't necessarily want to show everything all at once to the employee. It's better to kind of section things off so that it's easy to digest. Things are neatly organized. Um, and categorized for, for the user. So this first tab here, we're looking at all the details for the order, the customer name, line items. We have got some calculations on what it's going to cost. They can also add in some notes there. If I skip down a little bit further here, we're looking at this machines tab. So the employee can actually select which physical machines this order is associated with, um, which makes it really easy, good visual, um, very clear to see which machines are in use and which aren't. Um, there's, there's actually other areas of this application that's all about machine management as well. Um, here we've got some notifications, you know, they can send text messages. Uh, here they can see the statuses of all the machines. Um, it really is a comprehensive system for uh, tracking absolutely every aspect, every resource that's happening within the business. And I'm also going to play a little snippet here of this piece here so you can see the employee interacting with the application and actually generating a printed label uh, to place on the orders themselves to make it easy for the customer to uh, pick up uh, once, the, once everything is done. 
The next thing we're going to look at are the screens involving their repair ticket system. So this is very much a back-end system to help with maintenance, uh, maintenance tracking of their physical machines. So an employee would come in here and fill out a, a form. So they would select washers, dryers, add in, you know, any notes about the problem that needs fixing. And that goes into a total tracking system here with statuses, date and time stamps, details about what's going on with that machine so that everybody is on the same page. This is very common functionality that you'll find in an ERP system for tracking items, right? Whether it's tracking resources, tracking users, tracking orders, you have the ability to create uh, these custom tables and custom forms so that you can manage the status of uh, an item, a resource, as it moves through different steps. Here we can see a detail window for a specific ticket. So you can see that it really allows the employees to create a log of everything that has happened uh, for this ticket, anything that's related to this ticket. And on this screen, we have a very similar table, and this is for user management. This is something that we touched on earlier in the series as well, is being able to manage all of the users who are going to be accessing the application and giving them roles. This allows you to create different permissions, access rights to working with the data in your application. I'm going to open up uh, or switch over here to the screen so you can see, right? So the, the admin person of the location of the business can come in and fill in details about that employee, assign a role to them. Uh, in this case, they're assigning a specific store to the user as well. Looks like they could have multiple store access. Um, and, and again, that way they have permissions uh, so that they only work with the things that they're allowed to work with. Next thing that we have here is their inventory management. Now, keep in mind that this application is being used on a tablet. So the layout of everything in the design is to make it easy for the employees to just tap on everything. So you can see here we've got very um, easy to target buttons right on the screen. But this is a custom system for organizing their inventory. It's categorized, it's color coded so that uh, the, the locations can manage both their products, their retail products, anything that they're actually selling there, as well as laundromat services um, within, the, within the location. Now, with that also comes very custom pricing. So looking at this window, we're looking at uh, a coupon management, so discounts, and really applying every kind of flavor of discount management that you can think of for a specific item. So they can select one or more items that they want to apply these coupon rules to. They can go off of a flat amount, a percentage, anything that you would really expect with a backend ERP system for um, organizing the, the, the business structure, the business model, um, how things are gonna be presented to the customers. That's all managed and organized and edited here from this custom design. Here's another view of record management on specific items. So this is, you know, creating their kind of catalog of things that they're going to offer. This isn't tied to a specific customer yet. So here they can define color coding for the item, prices, um, what's going to be required from the customer if the if the customer wants to add this item to their uh, to their order. You know that you can see there. There's a special pricing that they're going that they can apply commercial or military discount. They've really thought of everything here uh, for all the different scenarios that a customer can come to them with, and trying to make it as easy as possible uh, for the system to anticipate uh, everything. And, and that way, uh, you know, checkout for the customer is as seamless as possible. Here's another screen here for again record management. In this case, it's about the customer profile. So customer might have a history of orders with the location. So we want to be able to manage all of that uh, more easily, especially if they're a commercial account. So um, looking at the top level details, they you know may uh, collect internal notes. They're going to have their billing history, just general order history, um, and any commercial account details. In the previous video in this series, we talked about data analytics and visualizations. And the report section of this application is using a table system to display uh, all of the financial summaries uh, for their invoices. So you can see the user, the employee can select uh, a date range. Uh, they can select a specific store that they want to pull a report on and they can see the statuses of all of the invoices 
invoices that are related to those filters. Um, and, and of course, all of the amounts. Now they can of course generate the invoices themselves in a screen that looks like this, very standard type of invoicing. This can be downloaded, it can be printed, it can be shared with the customer. Um, all of these things you can absolutely do. And here's an example of the reports in action. So the user can select from a number of different reports that they have available. Here they've chosen the financial summary and here we've got a very nice visualization for the employee to see uh, a good overview of all the financials for their orders. All right, everyone. So that was a quick look at an excellent ERP system that is live today and running businesses. You know, they touched on a little bit of everything in terms of common functionality, but also included custom functionality that is unique to the industry. You could see that in the way that certain features were approached and also designed. I mean, these were designed to uh, be responsive and work well on tablets because that's what the employees are on every single day when they're interacting with this app. So hopefully you learned something. You could see how custom and how flexible you can truly make this functionality work for your business. The purpose of an ERP app, remember, is to streamline your operations. It's to make sure that you have all the information to get the right insights, to make smarter business decisions, to have you know all of your different tools in one place and have all of the data communicate with each other properly. That way you're much more organized and you can really scale uh, more effectively. Now, if you are new to this channel, make sure that you like this video and subscribe so that you can be notified of the next video series that we have coming up. Happy building, everyone.